everyone, I am engineer Kamran Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Learners of Civil Engineering. Uh, guys, today uh, I will uh, again discuss a very interesting uh, topic which is related with the determination of the design and values which will be used in the determination of the allowable bearing capacity of shell foundations. Guys, as you know that there are many uncertainties in the field procedures of the standard penetration test. What does that mean? That uh, when we will perform the standard penetration test in the field, then uh, due to uh, the field procedures, the value of uh, SPT and values uh, may be infected in one layer as compared with the second layer. Okay, so for this very purpose, we are finding the weighted average of the SPT and values in the foundation influence zone and this uh, uh, weighted average of the determination of the n values in the foundation influence zone is known as the design n values so for this i will use this uh, equation that n design is equal to summation of i start from 1 up to n into n i over i square divided by summation of i starts from 1 up to n into 1 over i square we are i is the number of layers under consideration like let's suppose if uh, uh, we have uh, done the spt test in the three layers then mm, the value of i will be like i1 i2 i3 okay and ni is the uh, standard penetration test n value in the ith layer uh, let us solve uh, a practical numerical problem on the same topic this will further clear your concept the statement of the problem is the corrected n value for a bore lock is given. Find the design n value for a 2.5 meter square footing. The base of the footing is located at a depth of 2 meter below the existing ground level. This table uh, represents uh, the value of the corrected SVT n values at different depths, like at a depth of uh, 1.5 meter from the existing uh, ground level, the corrected n value is 8 and the soil type is cohesive. Then at 3 meter depth, uh, the value is uh, 7 and the soil type is cohesive. Then at a depth of 4.5, the n value is 15 and the uh, soil type is cohesive. Then at a depth of 6 uh, meter, the n value is 18 and the soil type is cohesive. Now you can see the soil type has been changed at a depth of 7.5 meter. The n value is 226, but the soil type is cohesionless. Again, at a depth of 9 meter, the soil type, uh, the um, n value is 28 but the soil type is cohesionless, okay? Now, uh, how to uh, consider or how to uh, decide the depth for the determination of the design and value? For this, I'm having two criteria. Number one, to find the design and value at first SPT layer must be identified up to uh, 2B from the footing base or same soil type, whichever is less now if you can see on that particular slide then up to a depth of uh, six meters from egl we are having the same soil type which is cohesive soil type oh, one depth uh, has been selected which is how much which is equal to six meter let us study the second criteria which is this criteria df plus 2b which is normally as a rule of thumb uh, considered as a depth uh, of influence of the foundation so df plus 2b df is 2 meter and uh, b is 2.5 meters so this depth is 7 meter now the criteria suggests whichever is uh, less so if you can see the same soil type is present up to a depth of uh, 6 meter so we will go for this depth so we will uh, find the design and value up to a depth of how much 6 meter from the egl so uh, in this particular uh, scenario now if you can see we are having three layers layer one at a depth of three meter layer two at a depth of 4.5 meter and layer three at a depth of six meter and the corrected n value in the first uh, uh, depth is seven meter in the second is uh, 15 meter and in, in the third is uh, 18. now let us feed all the data in this particular equation so now the n value in the first layer is 7 and the second is 15 and the third is 18 and i square i 
for the first layer is 1 square, for the second is 2 square, and for the third is 3 square. Similarly, 1 over i1 I square is 1 over 1 square, 1 over i2 square is 1 over 2 square, and 1 over i3 square is 1 over 3 square. Now, solving this equation, we are having this value, 9.37, which is approximately equal to 9. So, the end design value from this case is uh, equal to how much? 9. But there is another criteria, which was fixed by Terzaghi and Peck in 1948. They said that uh, calculated design value from this correlation, if it will be more than any of the uh, SPTN value in the depth of consideration, then the lowest value will be uh, considered. Now, if you can see in the uh, depth under consideration, the lowest value is uh, 7. But the design and value uh, as uh, we have achieved from the formula is 9. So over here, as per the Tezdari and PIC criteria, we can go for this thing. So now the design and value for the sake of conservation and safety is how much? It is equal to 7, which will be used in the determination of the allowable bearing capacity. Now let us have some Excel calculations on the set topic. So this Excel sheet is designed based on the same formula which I have discussed with you in the previous slide. Now let us consider some depth of the foundation is equal to 5 feet. And width of the foundation is equal to oh, 5 feet as well. Uh, considering the same soil type from uh, the start of the um, uh, exploration to the end of the exploration. So then obviously we will go for this criteria DF plus 2B. So D plus 2B in this case is how much? It is 15. So uh, up to a depth of 15 uh, feet, uh, we will add some values into uh, that particular uh, equation, achieve the design and value. So let's consider that the, in the first layer, in, at a depth of 5 feet, the SPT N value is how much? It is 14. In the second is, let's suppose, 16. And in the third, let's suppose it is 18, which is uh, located at a depth of 15 feet. So, the design and value is how much? It is 13.41. So, guys, uh, uh, this Excel sheet is designed based on the same formulas uh, which I have discussed with you in my previous slides. Um, you can easily use uh, uh, this sheet. Uh, it will uh, reduce your calculations time and uh, it will further help you uh, in field when, when you will be uh, working as a technical engineer guys this excel sheet is available on my google drive the link is given in the description you can easily uh, download uh, this excel sheet for you guys and you can easily use this in uh, your field uh, problems guys i hope this video was useful for you like and share uh, this video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further updates thank you so much and god bless